This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uses the ForEach file enumerator in the ForEach loop container. I'm going to be copying files from one folder to another. That's pretty simple, but the main point is to show you how to use the ForEach file enumerator in the ForEach loop container. So this is a list of files. They happen to all be Excel files that I have in my Excel source files folder. And I'm going to be copying them over to the Excel dest files folder, which you can see is empty at this point. So now I'll go over to Visual Studio. And the first thing I want to do is configure my variables. So I'll start with a variable called name of file. And it's going to be a data type of string. And I need to put an initial value in here. So I'll put George. And that's all to configure that one. The next one is going to be the um, file path, or it'll show the complete folder as well as the file name. And so um, set up the source path first. And again, this is going to be a string for the data type. And then I need to go configure an expression. And this expression is going to put the full folder path, and then um, I'll add in the file name. So I'm going back to the source where the source files are located. And up here, I'm going to right mouse click and click on copy address as text. And I'll paste that in where I'm building my expression. I'll put double quotes around it. And then the backslash is a special uh, escape character. I need to put another backslash every place that I'm using a backslash to define the path. And you'll see when I evaluate the expression, it'll uh, just give me one backslash in each of these places. And then I need to put one at the end of the folder path. So I do the double backslash for that. And then I'm going to actually use the variable that's called name of file. And then I'm just going to get the uh, name and not the full extension when I set up the 4-H loop container. And I don't have to do it this way. It's just how I chose to do it. So I'll put uh, at the end dot xlsx and then double quotes. And now we'll click on evaluate expression. And that looks like a proper uh, file path. And it's filled in uh, the name George because that's what I set the, as the initial value for the name of the file. So I'm going to copy this. It might make it easier to set up my destination path for that variable. So I'm going to do another variable called dest path. Oops. And again, that needs to be string. And I'll go over here to the ellipsis again to set up my expression. And now I'll just paste in the one I already configured for the source path. And now I'll just change the final folder name to Excel Dest Files. And I'm going to go double check and make sure that name is correct. Yeah, Excel Dest Files. So now I'll evaluate that expression, make sure everything's going to work according to the plan. And there you can see I have uh, the full path configured. So that's all the variables I'll need for this. Now I'm on the control flow, and I'm going to scroll down here in the SSIS toolbox to find the containers. 
I'll drag the 4-H loop container onto the canvas and I'll change this description to um, copy files from one folder to another folder. And I'll double click on it to open up the editor. And now I'll go to the collection tab and up here I will choose the for each file enumerator because we're going to loop through this for each of the files in this folder. So this is going to, I need to get to the, um, the source folder. which is Excel source files. And then this is where I can set a wildcard. So I want anything that ends in .xlsx, and I only want the name. If I did name an extension, it would include the .xlsx. If I did fully qualified, it would give me the full path, and that would make it very difficult to build my destination path. So I'll just use name only. Um, okay, and now I'll go to the final step in configuring the container and for variable map mappings. So this is where it's going to load up the name only of the file from the folder I pointed to, which is our source folder. So we'll load that into name of file and that will change each time through the loop. So I click OK. Now I go to Let's see, common tasks, and I get the file system task and drag it inside the for each loop container. And you can see it just changed its size. And this will copy a single, oops, single file. So I double click on that and it opens up the task editor and uh, is destination path variable? Yes, I'll be using the variable I set up for that. And then we choose the dest path variable. And if I wanted to overwrite, if there was already a file there by that name, I could set this to true. I am not going to do that. And here's the operation. It's called copy file. And the source path is also a variable, so I put true there, and then I'll go select the source variable, which is called source path. And now that's all set up. So now I'll just save the package, and I want to make sure I execute the correct package, so I right mouse click on my package in the Solution Explorer, and then I click on Execute Package. And that uh, succeeded. So I'll stop debugging. And now I'll go show you the folders. So here's the destination files. And to show you that everything got copied over from the source path, I'll open that up. And there you can see everything got copied over as expected. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.